This 99 three ball Steph Curry build is shooting everything in NBA 2K25. It don't matter if you're in our face, out our face, around our face, under our face. We shooting three balls and we ain't got just three balls. We got defense on this build too. Now, before we get into the video, shout out to 2K for letting me go out there and play the game. I know y'all heard this all the time, but listen, we got to do this. That's what we got to do. So shout out to them. Appreciate them allowing us to play the game so I can give it to y'all. Now, on this build, I actually have two versions of this build. Really kind of one version, but I want to show you how it is, the differences between the two versions. So this first version is absolutely stupid. It's retarded. Now it does have its setbacks, not gonna lie. Some people probably telling y'all about how good these builds is. And some of y'all might know because y'all don't probably watch a whole bunch of people builds. But it got some setbacks. But we're going to go ahead and get it to you. And I'm going to start off with the first version of this build. We're coming in at five foot nine. Now, I know Steph Curry is six foot two. Now, listen, I know people be in the comments saying, oh, my God, this ain't Steph Curry. Steph Curry is six foot two. I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to show y'all. The purpose of these videos is not to give you a build that you can get on day one and go off, off crazy. The purpose of this video and all my videos is so you can see every aspect of the builder so you can know and have an idea of what sizes you want to go with, what everything you want to go with, and you can make a build I'm looking at how you play and everything like that. Okay, 5'9", 175 pounds with a six foot one wingspan. Now again, close shot goes up automatically so we had no choice, but if you see right here, if some of y'all been watching some of my other videos, you see this is a 74 close shot. In any other build that I have for the bigger builds, they force your close shot to go up way higher. So on the smaller guards, they don't force it to go up that much. Now for the driving layup, we got an 83 driving layup. This gets us a bronze physical finisher. And that's more just because we don't have, oh no, we we have, yeah, we don't have the strength. So we, we can't get a 67 strength. But we get bronze uh, physical finisher. We get bronze area wizard. We get a silver flow game and we get bronze layup mix master. So that's like your, you know, whatever that layup thing you do. I forgot the name of it, but I'm already brain dumped 2K24. Now I'm really gonna skip the rest of it because we got a 33 post control, but we're gonna get to the shooting. Now the shooting, this is where this build goes absolutely stupid. We got an 89 mid range because we didn't need to upgrade nothing for no badges or nothing like that. And mid ranges are definitely way easier to shoot than three pointers. But as you see right here on the 99 three ball, we got all legend badges, legend dead, eye, legend limitless range, legend mini marksman, legend set shot shooter, legend shifty shooter. All of them are hall of fame. It goes absolutely crazy. It's just crazy how these smaller builds get boosted like that. Now, for the free throw, we got a 95 free throw, but again, we don't get no badges on that. Now, for the pass accuracy, like I said, you have an opportunity to probably lower some stuff down. I don't think you can lower the mid-range no more because it's tied to your three-point shot, but you got an 80 pass accuracy. That gives you a bronze versatile visionary, silver break starter, and silver dimer. And then we get to the ball handle, and again, legend badges popping up. Legend Ankle Assassin, Legend Handle for Days, Silver Strong Handles, and Hall of Fame Unpluckable. And now, with your cap breakers, you can put that plus one to the ball handle, and now you got Legend Unpluckable. Ain't nobody ripping you or nothing like that. Or you can not get it and use your plus one badge to get that Unpluckable to go to Legend and save that plus one on your cap breaker for your first four cap breakers. So then when you get to your speed with ball right here, you can go for speed with ball from a 94 to a 99 if you want to. Cause we got a 94 speed with ball that gets us Legend Lightning Launch. So you fast as shit up in here. Now with these builds, something that I didn't do that I highly recommend. Now, you're going to be a liability in a paint for being that small. It feels like 2K25 made it to where smaller builds are more liabilities in the paint, so you can actually take advantage of that. It's like a mix match, uh, mix match, mismatch game in NBA 2K25. So what I did on this, I didn't upgrade the interior defense, but what I would do is I will upgrade all the interior defense and the block as high as I could, max them out. It's not gonna cost you a lot, but it'll help a little bit more from getting mashed on in the paint, especially if it's by a smaller guard that may be 6'2", 6'4" something like that. But you're not gonna be no force down there in the paint. It's not like NBA 2K24 where you can just stand in the way and you can make people miss. No, it don't work like that. Now, I noticed on here, I actually changed some things at the end of it. I dropped my perimeter defense down to an 85 and took that other uh, attributes and put it on my driving layup. So now I have an 85 driving layup that got me silver mix master for my layups. 
Now, for the 85 perimeter defense, we get Silver Challenger, Silver On Ball Menace, Silver Pick Dodger, and Gold Off Ball Pest. Like I say, I wasn't really getting too much difference uh, for my perimeter defense, I feel like, or at least I'm assuming, because like I said, this been like a week ago. But hey, so I just changed it. Now for the steal, we got a 91 steal. This gets us gold glove and gold interceptor. Now, shout out to my guy, Koza. Koza breaks it down, and he's talking about how interceptor is. Interceptor is feels real good in NBA 2K25. Now, I didn't get a lot of opportunities to use it, like I say, because we didn't have time like that. But with the glove, and I did feel this, and I had a calendar build that's coming down the road, uh, steals are not like, from what I felt, you can't just run up and just press the steal button and get a steal. Like, they put you in bad animations, if you, especially if you don't time it right. And I had players that was like 70 overall that was just blow by me getting to the basket because I ran up there with my 91 steal thinking I'm just about to rip them. And it don't work like that. So steal shouldn't be as OP, but if you know how to use them, they're probably going to be a lot better in NBA 2 or Not a lot better, but they're probably going to be good for you in NBA 2K25. Now, I'm going to skip the rebounding because y'all know we ain't got no goddamn rebound or no that field. But for speed, we got a 90 speed. That helped us get that slithery off ball. We got a 90 agility, and that helps us get the on-ball minutes, the pick dodger, the shifty shooter, and the slithery, uh, slippery off ball. We maxed out our strength because I didn't want to be too like like small and skinny. So I or not uh, weak. So I maxed it to a 65. Like I say, helped us with physical finner, finisher and strong handle. And then vertical, we ended up going with a 60 vertical that helped us get the aerial wizard. But we can't dunk the ball, so we probably should be putting back layup. So again, this the play, the gameplay has been playing in the background. You probably seen how this game, this build just been shooting like crazy. Shoots over everything. It's absolutely stupid. It's crazy. But I want to show y'all the 6-2 version of this build and the reason that I end up going to 5-9. So I'm gonna go to the 6-2 version of it and i'm just gonna show y'all the whole thing here real fast this is a six foot two version of it and i can't even upgrade it all the way compared to what it was i don't get to even get the defense i can't get my speed or agility up or anything like that now height seems to be his own attribute in nba 2k25 so when it comes to some of these guard builds height seems to take away the higher you go the less attributes you get up until you get about like six nine six ten and then the taller you go after that, the more attributes you tend to get for your build. So it kind of doesn't make sense unless you want the height and you want to put a little bit more defense, interior defense, a block on your build. Um, but they did put out a tweet, Zach Timmerman put out a tweet saying that the five foot nines were noticed that they were too OP and so they downgraded them to make them kind of back to the pack. So this build might not be as crazy as it was when we were at Community Day, but at Community Day, this build was absolutely stupid. Now, I didn't have no dribble animation, so please understand. Please don't get on my head about this. So we didn't have animation, so I can't, I couldn't do none of that stuff like that. But anyway, here is my Steph Curry or my Steph Curry versions of the build. Y'all take this. We got so many builds. We still got a bunch of builds coming up. And I want y'all to make sure y'all check them out. Now, I keep forgetting this. My channel members get early access, so... Y'all see this right pretty much after I finish editing y'all. I upload them and y'all get to see them. For everybody else, if you want to see them early, because I still got, hold on, let me look. I still got it right here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more builds. I got seven more builds and six videos. So it'll be six videos for it, but it's seven more builds. If y'all want to make sure y'all can check them out when they get released, think about joining the channel membership. Other than that, like the video up for the boy, man. Hit that sub button because we going absolutely stupid. The NBA 2K25. J Mac locked in today. J Mac locked in tomorrow. J lock J Mac locked in in the future. It don't matter. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'ma holler at y'all later, man. I'm out of here.